12 volt portable sprayers. Got a couple of them here. We actually have uh, several of these. Precision spray equipment is who makes them. You can get them on Amazon, powered by 12 volt batteries. Going to talk about them, show you about them, coming up. Hi, I'm Roger. Welcome to the shop. We're going to talk about today, and this will be a quick one. We're just going to go over this a little bit. And this is at the height of convenience. It's a 12 volt cordless sprayer. Uh, six gallon capacity, I believe. Yeah, six gallon capacity. I should know that. We mix stuff in these all the time, but we also have a couple of five gallon ones, so I had to look to double check. So, you know, a conventional sprayer, you got one of these here, guys, that you put your stuff in and you pump it up and away you go spraying. This way you don't need to do the pumping up stuff. All you got to do is charge your battery and the battery will last through at least four full tanks. Um, probably more. Usually when uh, we go through a few tanks we're, we're done and then we're putting it back in the charger so it'll be ready for next time. So I'll get in here and take a closer look at one of these. Since we own a nursery and have greenhouses uh, a sprayer is essential. This one here happens to be for use with uh, Roundup, which obviously we don't use in a greenhouse or in a nursery, but there's, we have a big fence row where uh, lots of poison ivy likes to grow. And it seems that if I even just look at poison ivy wrong, I've got it. This takes care of that problem. This is much, much more convenient than the old pump up sprayer. And it's not just for, you know, gardening and landscape and spraying bugs and weeds and critters and stuff like that. We've also used one to spray deck wash, which we make our own deck wash. We don't buy the stuff. All it is is bleach and water anyway. So we mix our own up in here. You go over and you spray the deck. You wait a little bit with me. Spray the deck. Have a beer. Go get the pressure washer. Wash everything down. Let it dry for a day. Now something else you can do with this, with one of these, if you are spraying a water-based deck stain or deck sealer, this is great for that. You can adjust this tip for a fan spray, a cone spray, or of course you don't want to use a jet spray when you're trying to put sealer or stain on, but the, uh, the tip is fully adjustable, uh, which makes it a great thing. Now when you're done, just uh, empty out your excess stainer or sealer back into the original container, fill this up with water, run a couple tanks of water through it, you're good to go. I don't know that I'd want to try using one of these for a, uh, a solvent-based stain or a solvent-based sealer because that may be very, very difficult to clean out and it may damage the uh, components. So I, I would stick with uh, a water base if you're going to use it for that type of thing. Uh, as far as spraying paint with it, no, don't spray paint with it. You need a paint sprayer for that. This is, you know, decks, fences, putting stain or sealer on them work great, not, not for paint does work good obviously for insecticide, herbicide, fungicides. And I'll get onto the back of this. I'll show you a few more details of it, what the pluses are, what the minuses are. I am not sponsored by this company. I uh, bought these on Amazon. This one here is newer than the other one I had up here by uh, a few years, but I found out them to be very durable. Okay, in the back of the unit here you'll see you have your on off switch. This here is a charging port with a little rubber cap on it to keep moisture and stuff out. It does come with a charger that has a wall ward on it. And underneath here is a fuse. Never blown one of them out, but there is a fuse there. There's also a little compartment right down here, if I get that to pop up, where you can store your charger if you like. Uh, we don't do that. We keep them plugged in a, in a charging station. And then... Uh, this does come off if you need to do any type of serious maintenance on it. Battery, as you can see, this one here has a blue one in it. So you take off the uh, four axle bolts, two bolts up here on top. This whole back comes off. You can pop the battery in. New battery, uh, I've not had to change it on this one. I have had to change it on a couple of the other ones. Batteries are readily available on Amazon. There's nothing unusual or odd about them. Or if you have a battery plus, you could even go get one there. See, it has a coiled hose on it, retracts. This is one of the things I don't like about it because if you're out and it's pretty cool, that hose is extremely stiff. And 
I've always been meaning to change the hoses on these. I've just never got around to doing it. On wheels, it's easy to roll around. Uh, at the bottom, get down here, you'll see right down there, there's a connection where the uh, pickup hose from the pump goes into the tank. That has a garden hose thread type thing on it. And you can unscrew that, and inside there is a screen. So if you get some goobers in there that would plug the pump up, that screen will stop it. So if you uh, are using one of these and it happens to not be spraying very well, I would uh, take that out and take a look at it. And if it should happen while you have a tank full or a tank half full, by leaving the tank clear forward like I have it here, you can take that out, clean your screen, clean it up, put it all back together, stand it back up, and away you go. Okay, over on the front of it here, like I say, it's made by Precision Spray Equipment. I don't remember what these are. They're a little bit over $100, as I recall. And this one here is for Roundup, of course. Uh, cap at the top is nice and large. It doesn't really leak unless you get really violent with it. Another thing that's nice about these is it has a handle that you can collapse this handle all the way down to this level and just carry it around like this if you like. You don't have to have the handle extended all the way up. Oh, there we go. Push the button. Kind of like luggage. There we go. Then it looks like that. Takes up less space. Now I can show you what can happen that goes wrong as soon as I swap up here to the other sprayer. Okay, if you look in the back of this one, it's a little bit different because there's a switch here. I had to put this in because the original stock switch, as you can see up here, I don't know what happened to it. It just like dissolved. And I didn't want to buy this whole little panel right here. And since I'm an electrician, it was no big brain deal for me to put another switch on here. So that uh, otherwise is the only really issue I've had with these. And here's what the charger looks like. Just a little wall work that sticks in there. And on the other end of that, this plugs into the sprayer. Pretty simple. Well, there's a quick short overview of uh, one of these great time savers. And you don't have to do the pump thing on the tank all the time with one of these. It's, you know, they're just great. A little bit pricey. I mean, you could pick up one of them tank sprayer, little pump up tank sprayers. The one guy one for under $20. Um, I will look up and see what the current price is on these and I'll put it down below here somewhere. Uh, precision spray equipment. There's no real model number on here. I'll try to find that too when I'm looking it up. And I'll put something down at the bottom or in the description. So if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Helps the channel. Otherwise, I'm Roger in the shop talking about sprayers. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.